Known mainly for its production and export of bananas, the Banana Belt region is surrounded by various pristine villages and farms that is located between the southern districts of Stan Creek and Toledo. Children in this region are currently facing a burden. Of the 5,000 students educated in the communities, only 19% of teachers meet the Ministry of Education's minimum requirements for teacher licensing, a low percentage that has resulted in low performances in the national primary examinations in addition to increased poverty, economic insecurity, and a shortage of trained human resources. To change this outcome, the Banana Belt Primary Education Project was launched on June 17, 2010. Majority funding was received in the form of a grant from the European Union. The University of Belize, collaborating with the University of West Indies Cave Hill Campus and University of West England Bristol, are delivering the training aimed at improving the quality of primary education in the Banana Belt. We've been working quite a lot in education, building schools, but we noticed after a while, and when I talk about we, us and government of Belize, because we work in a partnership, that also at teacher's level there was some need for support and so this program and the parallel one for secondary teacher then was born. Increasing access, ensuring quality education and good governance are key policy objectives within the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports and it was found that the Stan Creek District had the lowest percentage of trained teachers within the education system and by extension low student achievement. And so the ministry felt that it was very important for them to address that situation and so initiated this program to increase the percentage of trained teachers and by extension student achievement. In addition to the teacher training for the primary school teachers, a program is also being offered for secondary school teachers and that program should be completed at the end of October where we have 77 teachers, secondary school teachers receiving a bachelor's degree and 17 with a diploma in education degree. The program is essentially designed to provide a greater training to teachers and students in a historically disadvantaged area in the East, particularly in the Banana Belt. Um, I think the rural regions of the East have historically have not had the quality of education that has been afforded to other areas of the society. And I think it's important to address those social advances through education. Principals and teachers in training also share that the program could not have been established at a better time. Eventually, when we actually got into it, we found out that this was just excellent for us, the teachers in the southern part. Not only the teachers, as well as the students. The school have a serious literacy program. So when this program came on board, I embraced it wholeheartedly because I saw it as an opportunity to get most of my teachers trained. I have noticed that the program has been very essential, especially here in the Banana Belt, uh, being that um, the majority of the teachers teaching in this area does not have a major in what is primary education probably they have in another field. Training overall is being offered to teachers and principals as well as parents. To meet the diverse educational needs of teachers in addition to provide necessary training in core subject areas like math, reading and science, UB utilizes blended learning lessons providing participants with both online and face-to-face -face sessions. Online lessons are delivered to teachers with the use of Moodle, a course management system that delivers student-lecturer and student-student interactions as well as assessments online. Face-to-face -face trainings are delivered at a central location at the Independence High School in Independence Village that provides teachers personal interactions with their trainers. After the 48 credit hour training is completed, it is expected that at least 60 primary school teachers will be certified with an associates in primary education. The Banana Belt project also sought to create responsible and effective leadership, essential to supporting educators. By the end of the program, the um, principals will be better informed, not only as to what those styles constitute, but how to apply them in whatever situation they find themselves in. It's not only to say how we can manage the school, but then what are the ways that we can move on up our school from one level to another when it comes to education. I can go back now with my staff with 
more skills and, and attitudes of trying to bring my team together so that we can make our school more effective. The recruiting and retaining of male teachers in the classroom is also a special focus of the Banana Belt Project, as statistics currently show that only 25% of the teaching population are males. I think that it has become very critical now more than ever for us to have male role models in the, in the teaching profession to begin to guide the younger boys so as not to move in the direction of gangs and, and delinquency. Sessions offered to parents provided training in how to better participate in their child's education. And I taught the parents how to read the test scores over a five-year period and how to be able to analyze their school and to see academically in math and English how well your school is doing in comparison to other schools in the neighborhood. And then they had to go and interview the principal or a teacher about these results. Well, some of the teachers had, didn't even know about the information, so the parents became empowered. Y así ver de qué forma ¿verdad? podemos nosotros ayudar tanto a los padres de familia como a los maestros ¿verdad? en controlar ¿verdad? lo que es el, el, todos los alumnos, ¿verdad? porque el maestro solo no puede, digamos, con tanto tarea. I learned about culture, I learned about education, I learned about kids, you know, parents and kids should work together. Strategies taught have already been implemented, with positive results seen in both student participation and their academic progress. They're motivated, they're happy, they're excited when teacher Shalini is coming in because it's mad and we have fun while teaching mad. They have um, like grasped my, my teaching concepts more than before. We have definitely seen improvements in classroom management. We have seen improvement in teaching strategies. We have seen improvement in teachers' confidence and student confidence. We have seen improvement in students' grades going up. Judging by the teachers' discussions and the things that they've been sharing over the last couple of days, I can sense and see that they're really taking in the information and starting to make some changes. We've really focused a lot on um, setting up learning environments and making them more developmentally appropriate and focusing on um, the cultures of the children and, and how they can integrate those things into their classroom curriculum and instruction. Excitement for this project has also translated into hope for the future of these communities in the Banana Belt, in addition to the entire country. I could see that the improvement is going right now because I could see the teacher, they are working good and they are getting a training. This particular program will benefit our community because the teachers will be training or teaching the students and the students will be getting the knowledge from the teachers that have received the training. They will not only get it practically but theoretically as well and that will all eventually benefit our community. Based on the success of this project, this kind of uh, activity can be exported to the rest of the country. Uh, the number of untrained teachers is extremely high in the banana belt but also in other areas of Belize. Uh, it is not as good as it should be. So this project can show that with limited funding, uh, quite a lot can be accomplished in, in a small time. The Banana Belt Primary Education Project has provided many possibilities to communities in this region. Educators and parents alike now feel encouraged and motivated to improve the academic performance of all children. Education, after all, is the most effective means of poverty alleviation. We hope that the project will provide a, an improved group of teachers across the region, but more important, also provide the grounds for improving the survey across the primary school sector. If you don't have qualified teachers, you cannot have quality education.